In December of 2008, Michael Addison was sentenced to death for killing Manchester police officer Michael Briggs. In their appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court, his attorneys raised four main questions for the court to consider. The first question that the defense asked the court to resolve involves a statement that Addison made in which he cried and said he didn't purposely shoot Briggs. The judge found the statement full of lies and excluded it from the jury. Addison's attorneys asked, can the court bar the admission of evidence based on the court's belief that the defendant lied? The second question has to do with Addison's life in prison. During the sentencing phase, the jury heard that Addison would be able to watch cable TV and have access to other amenities. The defense claims by admitting this evidence permitted the jury to weigh in its sentencing decision whether the privileges may be afforded are too good for Addison. That ruling violates the Eighth Amendment. Third, the defense claims that the victim impact statements were excessive, saying of the state it made a cradle-to-grave presentation about the victim's life that included five photographs of the adult victim as a child, stories about the victim's childhood, 20 photos of the victim with his children, and three video clips of the victim playing with his children. The defense says lower courts are divided on how much testimony is appropriate, and the Supreme Court should resolve this issue. The final question is does the death penalty violate the Eighth Amendment's guarantee against cruel and unusual punishments? To support their contention, the defense notes there have been three other cases eligible for the death penalty, but Addison is the only one sentenced to death. His case thus frames the questions of arbitrariness, deterrence, and continued utility of capital punishment. At this point, it's unclear if the U.S. Supreme Court will hear the appeal. According to the court's public relations officer, the state has 30 days to file a response or waive that right, and the court will generally make a decision on whether or not to hear a case within six weeks. In the studio, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.